What's up guys, Center Stalker here for another video. This video right here will be me eating the breakfast of champions in 1996 Wheaties, followed by drinking the old Coors Original 96 Limited Edition Home Run Derby Baseball Glass Bat type thing. Let's see how it tastes, see how it holds up, see how this breakfast of champions holds up. Let's get down to it right now. And after that also, I got some movie reviews, so check out for that. Got some movies I'm gonna talk about at towards the end of the video after I get done doing the eating challenge, hope I don't puke. But if I do, I'll capture it on camera. <laughs> Let's get down to it now and get the materials. Yes. Here's a gathered up, of course, is a bowl and a spoon of cereal. I got some milk right here. And of course, the start of the shows are these guys right here, the Wheaties from 1996. I believe this is when the, the Cowboys won the Super Bowl against the Pittsburgh Steelers. I guess I think they had these limited edition ones out because of that. You can see it's 1996. It is sealed up i'll open that up on camera so you know it's totally authentic and real and there's the back of it up there i am uh, definitely curious hopefully there's no weevils in this thing or any kind of weird other kinds of uh things inside this oh man so i got that right up there and followed by swallowing and swigging some of this thing i had this in the fridge you can see i got some of the condensation on the bottle here so you gotta get it cold try to get as proper as i can see this is sealed up as you can see, it is Coors, the banquet beer. And it is the original Coors. I'm gonna focus up right there. So there it is, original Coors in this uh, baseball back commemorative limited edition 96 release. Um, so let's go try this out. Definitely curious, a little bit nervous. We'll see how this holds up after 22 years. All right, so I have everything on the table laid out right up here. As you can see, let's put this on this little stand. So you can see me right up here and open up these Wheaties right now and uh, check these out from 1996. Now I'm going to open them up, look at them, investigate them, and then after that, you know, give them a little smell and see how they are. Here we go. Opening up the seal. Oh, the breakfast of champions. See how this holds up the breakfast of champions after like, you know, what, 22 years of being dormant in this box. Ooh, you have a little bit of dust on this thing too. Look at this, like. There's like some dust right there. Oh, oh man. Okay, opened up the seal. You can see it is sealed up right over here. Is it rotted? Any? I'm looking to see if there's any things festering in there. Does it come with a prize? Oh, you got like a little thing in here, actually. Actually, no, it's just, it's just that thing. I thought it was something in there, but there's nothing. It's just that, it's just this. See? But anyway, let's go look at this, investigate this thing. If there's any weevils up in this sucker. Looks like there's no weevils. It looks, looks like regular Wheaties right here. So, open the bag. All right, here we go. Smelling 1996 right here. In a nutshell. Oh. Oh. It smells like, uh, like old wood. And like something like, not like rotted, but it smells like old wood. Oh, like like uh, just something old and dusty. Who definitely smells like that? Ooh, I'm gonna put this back in here. Gonna pour it out in the bowl like it like it's intended to be poured out right in this bowl right here. Let's get down to that right now. Oh man, so here we go. Nice bowl of some Wheaties to get your day started, folks. With Saturday morning cartoons, you want to get buff. You want to do the football thing, the sports thing. You could have your bowl of Wheaties. So look at that, nice oop, thing of Wheaties right up here. As you can see, oh yeah, look at that. Look at this right there. No um, crustaceans, no bugs that I can see in this thing. So nothing like that, which is good. Now, I'm going to open this up, the milks, and uh, you know, do it up like that. Came up with the damn milk. There we go. So here we go, folks. The Wheaties, all right there. Pouring a nice thing of milk to go along with the Wheaties. Oh yeah, check this out. Breakfast of champions. Get that, you know, 1996 flavorings going on in here. Oh man. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Uh, bottoms up, 1996. Uh, to your health and more, my friend. 
Everyone out there, here we go. Do not try this at home. But if you want to, I guess go for it, but prepare to puke. Here we go. 96 Wheaties, folks. Hmm, not too bad. Doesn't taste too crappy. Oh man, let's go for one more. Tastes um, tastes like Wheaties. A little more, a little more plain as Wheaties does. One more helping thing of Wheaties right here. Breakfast of Champions. Ugh. Oh yeah, here we go. It's in the stocker style. Mm-hmm. Not too bad. It's weird, like it doesn't taste too stale, surprisingly. Man, I would say being 22 years old, this stuff holds up as a champion. I must say, I was looking a lot worse. Man, tastes just like Wheaties. What? But a little bit more stale, but not too bad. Wow, interesting. To wash down these Wheaties proper, I'm gonna have some nice Coors Original Banquet beer in the baseball bat, you know, right here. So, coming out of 1996, let's get it down to it. I'm gonna open up this important this glass right up here. So, let's get down to it. Time to crack open this, see how it looks. It's Coors, who knows? Oh man, here we go. Ugh. Does this stuff get better with age? Probably not. Okay. Let's go see how this looks. This is kind of scary. It smells like beer, actually. It does smell like beer. Here we go. 96, 22 year old Coors right here. Oh man, this is, here we go. Right here, nice and cold. It looks like beer. It's very brown. Um, it has a little bit of uh, carbonation in there. Um, Anything floaty? Any floaties? I don't think there's any floaties up in this sucker, but um, it definitely has some a little bit of carbonation in there. It has some bubbles, surprisingly, and um, a little bit of fizz. I didn't think it would. I thought it'd be really flat. Maybe this stuff ages better in time. With this, it's definitely a lot darker than regular Coors, though. It's a little more, you know, because regular Coors is kind of light. So um, let me try this right now. 96 Coors right here. The banquet beer. Ba -ba -ba. Yeah, this is kind of scoop. This is kind of spooky. Tastes like uh, cider. Oh. Okay. Not too bad, surprisingly. Um, I thought it'd be a lot worse. But surprisingly, it does taste like Coors, but a little bit different, kind of flat, but not as bad as I thought it would be. Here we go, one big swig for all you guys. That's yes, right, you send a stalker stalkers out there. What's up? This is for you. <laughs> Here we go. Ah. Will I regret this later? Hopefully not. Oh man. <clears throat> Ooh, a little mini burp right there. Oh my God. So, Coors, right up here, Wheaties. Good stuff. Oh man. That's like nice and soggy, soggy little flakes. Oh yeah. No, that, 96. Not a bad year, man. My place is 96. This stuff. My final bid, my final judgment, call I mean, holds up pretty well, surprisingly. Who would have thought? Man, if you want to go out there, get some 1996 Wheaties or some Coors, to try it out. They ain't too, uh, they ain't too shabby. Ah, man. Woo, it's time for some movie reviews. First up from Unearth Films MD Visual is this The Song of Solomon. Directed by Stephen Biro, sorry, and Jessica Cameron. She's a possessed woman, and it's this sort of like exorcist type movie. And these movies are from the Guinea Pig series, actually, and are those the American Guinea Pig series? If you follow those, 
definitely enjoy this gory indie horror flick right here. And Jessica Cameron does a really damn good job in this movie, I thought. It was really well made, I thought. Some pretty damn creepy music, some good scenes. Some of the dialogue is a little bit choppy at times, not going to lie. Some of it's a little bit sort of cheesy, some of the dialogue, some of the uh, delivery. Other than that... It's a pretty well-made movie, I thought, right here. Here's the back right here. Look Close, better look at it. Look at that great, gory cover art. And here's the back. As you see, all kinds of good features. You get commentary, interviews, behind the scenes. And a nice interview with the special effects artists. They did a really good job in this flick. So if you like kind of like exorcist-type movies and a little bit of bloody, gory stuff, you'll definitely enjoy the Song of Solomon. Our next up here from Arrow Video is this release this classic rear, the Gore Gore Girls, Horse and Girl, Gordon Lewis's Gore, gore, girls. Pinch is about this kill on the loose that kills go-go dancers and butchers them and stuff like that in all kinds of weird ways. They try to find out who kills these girls of the gore, gore, girl girls. So it's pretty damn cool watch right here. Definitely enjoy it. Looks great on Blu-ray. In case you want to get that big set, the Herschel Gordon Lewis set, if you want to get these separately in case you want to piece them out, they're out now separately. They're starting to be released by Arrow Video. So that's pretty damn cool. I'll show you the back of it right here. The back, all kinds of uh, great feature ads in this thing. Commentary. All this good stuff with H.G. Lewis and, you know, you know my nice filmography and everything like that on this type deal right here. It's a great new commission artwork. If you want the old one, you can get that one too in this, which is right there also. If you want the original, which I do love that one. You're going to love Herschel Gordon Lewis, the Godfather Gore himself in this great B flick right here, the Gore Gore Girls, out now from Arrow Video. Also from Arrow Video is this one I want to check out for a long time now. It's a policia thriller suspense movie from Italy from May 1971. Is this one? What have they done to your daughters? Look at that cover art. It's great about this guy, this crazy killer on the loose. He hacks up women and people with a meat cleaver. He wears like a cool like a motorcycle helmet. So he's on the loose, trying to find this. So he's on the loose, and the, the cops trying to find this guy in this kind of cat mouse caper. So it's like a mix between horror, uh, crime, uh, drama. And also suspense, like a nice little mixture of these, uh, you know, policia type movies made in the early '70s in Italy. I'm sure you've seen those before, but they're pretty, they're pretty cool ones. This one is great, great music, great suspense, awesome uh, 2K restoration. This thing, that was a great movie. So out now, if you like, you know, like Italian flicks, Italian horror, definitely check this one. Out. Look at that cover, looks rad. I'll show you the back of it right now. There's a back of it right here. All kinds of cool features in this thing loaded up. Um, it's great stuff. Every video does an awesome job in these things. Here's the uh, newly commissioned artwork. I'll show you the inside of it right now, see how it looks. There's the inside of the other, if you want the original poster art, you got that one too, which looks amazing. La Policia Chieto Yato, I messed it all up. This one right here, definitely uh, check this one out. If you're like a horror fan, you'll definitely enjoy what have they done to your daughters. Really well made, nice, I said, good visuals, this thing, really well done right here. Reviews of some movies right there, a few flicks right up here. So, if you want to get these movies and more, link down below. You can get these. Back. All right, so if you guys enjoyed those reviews right there, now let's push out the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Me uh, trying out these Wheaties 96 style, nice and uh, soggy now, and drinking some of this lovely 96 Coors Banquet beer. Beer, there you go, a little bit right there for the homies out there. Oh, well, look at that, I got some fizz going on. Like I said, not too bad. Being 22 years old. This ain't too shabby. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that notification ringtone so every time my video pops up a new one, you'll know where to look right over here. So I'll catch you guys later on the next video. I'll see you time to drink some of this. That goes out to all you guys out there. Cheers. Oh, yes. Whew. Not bad. Mmm. Nothing like some 22-year-old beer, my friends. Oh, no. Ain't nothing like it. Oh. I'll see ya. Bye-bye.